Good evening. Welcome to week 56 of Basic Course in Vedic Astrology by Shiva, Sarva Mangala Institute of Vedic Astrology. Let's go to the agenda. So first is the last class recap, then audio check. And we are going to do Finding Astro Ninja, episode 13. Then we see the fifth house lord in various bhavas. Then we uh, discuss on the social homework one, feedback <coughs> on the meeting, self-reflection, and then Q&A if you have any questions. Last class, last class recap, Finding Astro Ninja episode 12. Then we had seen fourth lord. So that was concluded. That homework was discussed. These got interchanged. I'll change it. Then reflection. So these links on the bottom right are the recording and content link for last class. Audio check. So I've launched it. Then Kapil Kumar. So I've received seven out of nine responses. Eight out of nine. Okay, I'll end it here. So all eight out of eight say audio is very good. Okay, so let's proceed. Yeah, now somebody can read. As usual, was it Mr. Sarsija? Can you read this first bubble? Not audible. Who's reading? I'm reading, but I can't see the bubble. It's there, right? I don't know. I'm not. Who see size or as visible? Yeah, Is yeah, this... I can see. Yeah, I can see. Astro ninjas, a ninja's fifth house has malefic Mars and burning sun. My finding is difficulty in having children. Hmm. Lucy is Astro saying. Ninja has difficulty in having children. Then Charlie responds. Charlie is saying. Uh, looks like you you missed some of the classes of Siva. Uh, please check recordings and rework. Okay. So now I'll call out names. You can tell me who you agree with. Uh, Kavita Ji. Yes, sir. Uh, Venkat Ji. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, actually, as per uh, Shiva content, uh, Mars in fifth house uh, have dif difficulty in 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 uh, pregnancy. So hmm. maybe uh, it's right that we'll go by Lucy. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we'll discuss reasoning later. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Sarsija? I will go with uh, Charlie. Charlie. Okay. Rekha said had some difficulty in audio, so I'll just skip her. Uh, Ms. Parvati? Actually, I'm, um, it is mixed, uh, this one, but I'll go with Charlie. <laughs> okay, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, we'll discuss that. Uh, Dr. Uma? It is mixed. 
Lucy. Lucy is right. Okay. Mr. Vishal? Charlie. Charlie. Uh, Mr. Kapil? So, you're not sure? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. yeah there was some audio issue. So, Lucy, I will go with Lucy. Lucy, okay. Uh, Ms. Uma Subramaniam? Charlie. Charlie. Ms. Padma Balaji? Lucy. Lucy, okay. Interesting. So I think no one else has joined. Usually Mr. Ravi joins. Mr. Ajay is also absent. Okay. So it's good. So we have a mix of responses. We have one, two, three, four. Four people for Lucy. One, two, three, four again. Okay. Okay. Very good. So before we discuss that, let's see some basics here. Uh, which Lagna is this? Leo. Leo. Leo, any characteristics we can say? Few characteristics? Leo will be... Leadership quality. Okay. What else can we say about Leo? Sure. Able to think quickly. Mm -hmm. Which sign is it? Which element? Either. Element is Agni. Yes. Fire. Fire, element. fire, yeah. So what does fire indicate? Energetic. Energetic. What about... Is it male or female? Male. Male indicates what? It is uh, external focus and outgoing. And how do they solve problems? Uh, the our, uh, external focus is there. Yeah, but Problem. there's something about how they solve problems. Mm -hmm. Or how they want to relieve their stress. What do they do? Male... Uh, sign. Check. So when they have a problem or they want to relieve their stress, they prefer to be person. alone. No, that is done. So yeah. How they will relieve their stresses? They will try to be alone, play a game, or do something. They'll be on their own. But female quality will be talking about it to somebody like that, social oriented. But this will be separate, individual. Okay, now uh, who's a lord of this? Leo? Sun. Sun. Sun is in which house? Sun is in fifth house. Okay. Sun when a Lagna sun is in some house, what does that indicate? Mostly it is strong. Benefic. It is strong and benefic. Strong. In our vocabulary, Wherever strong use means, it is always in the positive sense. That means benefic sense. Okay. okay. Now, do we have anything uh, or any planet in exaltation or debilitation? Moon is exalted. Moon is exalted. Correct. Anything debilitated? Any other exalted? No. no. Any debilitated? Anything? No. No. None, right? Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's look at fifth house. What does fifth house represent? Actually, today's topic is also fifth house, fifth lord. Actually, yeah, child, uh, amusement, amusement, correct. Putrasthana, creativity, hmm? intellect, children, investment. Yeah, investment, speculation. Before that, what was that input? I could not hear the creativity and creativity. creativity. Yes, creativity, intelligence, correct. Speculation, amusements, and 
what is the thing that's written here actually that's children 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 yeah and now let's see here fifth house has mars and sun okay now let's hear what is the uh, reasoning given so kavita ji you said mars in fifth indicates uh, difficulty in having children is that correct yeah okay yeah but this not we can't say that there will be difficulty in having children when we say having children means conceiving that's not a problem here mars okay. will usually indicate some surgery or something maybe some surgery will be involved it's not like child will not be born but child will be there but is uh, there will be some kind of like usually cesarean section or some surgery okay. will happen. that's okay. what it means and that's the reason it's actually mentioned as high risk pregnancy okay okay yeah and some possibility of injury in childhood so in terms of this it doesn't mean that difficulty in having children okay that would be okay. wrong statement okay now um it, the those who chose lucy uh, do you have anything else to support that to support lucy lagna is in fiery sign so they are less fertile less less for oh, yeah. thing yeah they are less fertile that's more to do with venus venus in fiery sign that's what uh, indicates okay just lagna fiery sign it's not so much effect now uh, let's hear about those who supported charlie so what else do you have to support charlie let me ask uh, let's say first one is mr sarasija uh, since uh, mars and sun are together and um, and it uh, like both are uh, friends uh, so i was thinking maybe uh, the sun will uh, sort of neutralize uh, uh, any negative effect of mars i was just thinking because it's a leo okay. sign okay mars and sun are friends that's correct are they in a friendly house or enemy house friendly house then friendly house jupiter's house no okay so there are uh, two things you have to be clear like one is how to how to find a planet's strength second is the house's strength right and when when does a planet uh, strength become weak can you tell some of the cases when it is in an enemy house that's when correct when it is when it is debilitated debilitated yes. so worst is enemy house next debilitated anything else they are not in kendra or vishnu or uh, lakshmi house yeah like basically that. dustana houses yes dustana house hmm yeah and uh, what would indicate uh, we can like actually do some some more on that so planet what else can we say in terms of its position uh, what would indicate that a planet is strong apart from what you said so far if the neighbors are friendly hmm if the neighboring house are friendly neighboring house that's uh, hmm. when some some of that the more uh, for the house as, strength yeah when hmm. some planet aspects that yes aspects is the one okay so we have to see if there is any other planet aspecting here do we have anything that's aspecting mars no. and sun no 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 none jupiter no. doesn't no jupiter is no saturn is no no other thing seven thousand nothing is there okay now let's discuss um, how do we measure a strength of a house can you tell some of some of the things that we, we can uh used to find a strength of a house whether it will be strong or not we did we did a class also on baba strength Lag lagna lord in in the fifth house something like that lagna lord in the same yeah. house yeah lagna lord wherever it is that is house is going to be good strong any other things that we know and if benefic planets are there in the house okay that's correct then and uh, friends if friendly pl uh, planet is there okay 
and if it's a Lakshmi house or a, a Upachaya house. In this case, it's a fifth Lakshmi. It's a Lakshmi house. Lakshmi okay. house. Then what else can we do? We find how do we find if it's strong? It is in Jupiter's house, and Jupiter is in the second uh, second house. So Jupiter. Hmm. It will be beneficial. So planet in, yeah. So planet that is about planet strength. So planet, um, okay, that is about it. But the other thing is, Lord of the house. Now we are discussing house strength. So we should also see the Lord of the house where uh, it is placed. So Lord is Jupiter. Jupiter is in second house, second position, mm -hmm. and that yeah. means it's good. Okay. Anyway, Jupiter is benefic. So that house also is strong because. The Lord is in a good position. And <clears throat> what about... Uh, yeah, so we have now here two things. So what are the other things on based on which we find that house is strong? The, what are the other Lord's positions, Lord of a house's position that make the house strong? If it is a digbala... No, no, that is for the planet. I'm asking house, Lord of house. the house. Yeah, in terms of positions, not Digbala and all that. Position from the house, not from the Lagna. Do you remember that? So just like Lagna, even from the house position, if you count, okay, for example, this is, you assume this to be the one, Lord of the house is Jupiter. From here, one means one, two, three, like that we have to see. So if, supposing Jupiter was second from itself, we discussed that in one of the cases earlier, second from its own house is said to be very good for the house. Now, in this case, again, it will be either two or in the <coughs> uh, four, seven, ten, five, nine, same things, or Lakshmi, Vishnu houses, we have to see. The Kendra and uh, this one, Trikona. So if you see from here, which house number is Jupiter? From here, if you count. Ten. Ten. Ten is Kendra house. In that sense also, is, this house is strong. Okay. So we have so many factors that say that the fifth is really strong. So it's going, actually, it's going to be quite good. Yeah. Okay. So now you have some clarity how to find planet strength, house strength. Okay. Yes, sir. And in terms of planet yeah. strength also, this Jupiter is the second house. Second house is also good. Okay, second, Kendra, Trikona. These positions will be very good. The planet will be strong. Okay. Shall we proceed ahead? I hope that is uh, clarifying, right? For those who chose Lucy. Yes, thank you. Okay. That's very good. Let's move to the next thing. Fifth Lord and various powers. Now I'll go to the other one. Okay. Yeah. One of the volunteer to read. Shall I read, Venkat? Yeah, please. Um, pancha, pancha Madipati. Pancha Madipati. Mm. Pancha Madipati, fifth lord. The fifth house represents progeny and divine merit. Also rules IQ, sense of humor, and amusements. Fifth lord is a benefic. Fifth lord is a benefic sign. In a benefic sign, makes the native intelligent and meritorious. So fifth lord in various bhava. Yeah. So the sense of humor also we can find. Actually, there is a slide in this by which you can find what kind of humor that person is um, has tendency to. And we'll check that for all of us also. Okay. Now, conceive creativity speculations. These are the main things in this. Okay. Uh, someone else can read. Shall I read? Yeah. Fifth Lord in first house. Visionary, lucky regarding investments and children. Happiness from children. 
establish their scholastic abilities strategic planning success in speculative ventures first house the core of who we are self persona image innate personality yeah does anyone have fifth lord in first house no fifth lord in first in your ascendant oh my god oh my god if the lord in first house no one has Fifth Lord. That musician's chart I had shared. Oh, Mr. Miles Davies has. Fifth Lord Mercury in first house. Okay. So fifth, uh, first being our about our you know long term purpose in life, our image to the world, personality. Many of these things are. influenced with the fifth lord's qualities like speculation children lucky towards children lucky with investments and children happiness from children and so on i think they are given some examples here oh yeah, they are come to sense of humor straight away so let's see this now okay now so you look at your fifth house and see which planet you have in case you don't have the planet we can look at consider the lord of that fifth house and do this okay so what this means is uh, can one of you read this anyone shall i read venkat like okay humor okay. humor sun moon venus mercury mars jupiter saturn is sun means hardly smile yeah Moon so sun in fifth human. house we are all discussing about these planets in the fifth house okay yeah can I please continue sun in uh, fifth house hardly smile moon uh, yeah. welcome humor venus creative cut jokes creative cut jokes instantaneously um, mercury when they speak um, when they speak are hilarious face no expression mars mm. aggressive and proactive anywhere anyone Uh, jupiter they support saturn they never uh, react react yeah. okay now let's see uh, you amongst ourselves let's start with um, kavita ji so what do you have anything in fifth house yeah i don't hmm. have anything but uh, the lord of the house is mars aggressive okay. proactive anywhere anyone yeah so <clears throat> you can uh, make jokes with anyone anyone is mercury uh, and... no no <laughs> Okay. okay. Aggressive and proactive. That means, okay, doesn't seem to match for you as such. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Aggressive and proactive. Yes, but uh, um, not in terms of humor, right? Not in terms of humor. Yeah. Okay. Let's see next, Mr. Sarasija. What is it? I don't have any planet in the fifth house, but my fifth house lord is Sun. Oh, Sun. Hardly so you smile. hardly. Smile. smile is that correct no not really i think i smile <laughs> okay then rekha rekha had some audio problem so now is parvati i also don't have any planet in the fifth house but venus is in the fourth house for me not fourth we have to discuss the lord of that house is fifth you mean No, uh, Venus. No, I mean, Lord the... of the fifth house is Venus. You mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So it's and... like cutting jokes instantaneously. <laughs> Does that match? But well? it, uh, that uh, my the, in my this one uh, no planet is there. Yeah, yeah. Then the Lord, we go go by the Lord. 
okay venus yeah creative cut jokes since yeah sometimes i do okay fine <laughs> yeah uh, venkat ji i have a question if yeah. there is two planet in fifth house mm. so what what do we do <laughs> we have to see uh, i mean at this stage of our first year you can just uh, see if they if they are uh, friendly they are in the friendly group okay and the kind of sign they are in and okay. try to assess their individual strengths accordingly we'll try to mix and match the two okay okay yeah uh dr uma umavati dr umavati yes i have uh, venus you have venus in the fifth house uh, not in the fifth house yeah but Yeah. There's no planet in the fifth house. No, there's no planet in the fifth house. Nobody is having. Okay, okay. <laughs> and Venus is the Lord. Yeah. Would you agree to this? Your sense of humor of. Ah uh, yeah, I I yes I I I'm able to do so. Yeah. Okay. Crack like jokes. Yeah. Mm. Good. Uh, Mr. Vishal. Mercury. Uh, Lord is Mercury, and uh, fifth house uh, Pluto has. Mm-hmm. Pluto, we don't study in Shiva. So does this match? You are hilarious when you speak, but no expression is seen on the face. It depends on the situation. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what's the usual trend? Maybe yes. Okay, fine. Others have to say. Mm. Uh, Mr. Kapil, what do you have in fifth house? Venus. It is present there, or there is no planet there. Oh, Venus is there, and I is there. Cut jokes just to me, yeah. Cutting jokes instantaneously. Yeah. That's true, right? Yeah, yeah, true. Mm. Good. Then, Ms. Uma Subramaniam. I have no planets in fifth, but the Lord is Sun, and it is not at all matching. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fine. <laughs> Then. Is Padma Balaji? I have Jupiter in the fifth house. Jupiter, okay. Jupiter. So you are not so much so, active in humor, or yeah, I support. Sometimes I support. Mm. Like they support. Sometimes like you, you yourself will not be cracking jokes. Right? That's what no, you're saying. No, yeah, yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
Mr. Vishal, you can read. Yeah. Third house represents aim, ambition, courage, heart and passion, communication, people living and working nearby. Strategic planner, think ahead of time, tremendous communication ability, wise investors, think a lot to take ambitious steps, gifted with ear, hear, record, listen, arms, writing, art and paintings. Yeah. Anyone has fifth lord in third house? Uh, my son has a fifth lord in the third house. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So does he have interest in these writing, art, paintings? No. <laughs> no. Okay. He does he think ahead of time planning? Yeah, that he has. He's very proactive. Yes, and he's he his thinking goes very fast. Mm -hmm. Yes, that that ability is there. And also the strategic planning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Communication. Uh, yeah, in his own field, he's good in communication. Yes. Okay. Not in general, but in his field, he is good. Uh, investing point also, he keeps exploring uh, things. I, okay. don't know. I don't know yeah, whether it's a wise investor. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe later you'll know. Yeah, may maybe later. Anyone else having fifth lord in third house? Or any chart that you have seen? Okay, let's go to fifth lord in fourth house. So, Mr. Kapil can read. Yeah, sorry. Uh, can I, you... Yeah, can you read this slide? Yes, I will do that. Fifth lord in the fourth house, the Baba. Fourth house is uh, for home, mother, real estate, vehicle, harmony. And uh, points are start earning very early. Mother will have good longevity, domineering, aggressive, and extravagant. Uh, more daughters than sons. Dogmas irritate them. I don't know what dogmas is. They become rich due to investments and speculation. Uh, they follow the adage. You cannot accumulate if you don't uh, speculate. Speculate. Yeah. What is dogmas, uh, Venkat? Dogma is like, you know, following something, some teachings like that. That is enforced kind of. Like you're supposed to do this, that. Okay. okay. Like maybe following um, uh, some some well-known person or some guru like that. Uh, their teachings. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like if you are, something is enforced on them, they'll not like it. Uh, okay. Understood. Okay. I'm hearing for the first time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think Ms. Padma Balaji said, right? You have Penis fifth lord in fourth house. Somebody said fifth no. lord in fourth. I told. Uh, you are Ms. Padma. No, Parvati. Parvati, okay, okay. But so, uh, it is together with Venus and Sun also. Okay, okay. How How many of these are matching? Not very much. Hmm. Is, is anything at all matching? At least one. <laughs> oh. Start earning very early, okay. Hmm. That's all. <laughs> okay. You you don't like in, in investments and all speculation. No, I don't. Okay. I don't do it. I just mm -hmm. I don't think much of investing. Okay. Mother uh, will have good longevity. That's okay. And dogmas irritate the uh, irritate that is there. Okay. Mm, that is. Uh... Okay, anyone else having fifth lord in fourth house? 
उमावती कैन यू रीड fifth house think conceive creativity spontaneity amusement humor analyze calculate putrasthana mature and full of wisdom creativity at its maximum sense of humor at peak quality conscious and aristocracy adventurous life likes thrills and excitement sincere and free from hypocrisy happiness from children children achieve success in their professional spheres yeah that is fifth is this in its own house anyone has this no one has my husband has this okay is spices spices okay uh, so moon is in fifth house moon is in fifth house yeah same house cancer yeah yes cancer um except that creativity and adventurous all of those are almost matching okay nice okay any other example Let's go to fifth lord in sixth house. Oh, uh, Parvati ji, you can read. Yeah. Fifth lord in sixth house, sixth house, health, debts and enemies, competitiveness. How you fare in the world? How successful one can be? Unique ideas. analytical skill slow and steady growth zeal for creative and competitiveness business and speculation success useful for community at large yeah anyone having this fifth lord in sixth house i have and pisces and okay. Lord, you. Is only in you. Except for that business and speculation success, I think everything matches. <clears throat> okay. Any other case? Anyone having? this is also uh, the lord being second from its place okay so that's it also very good good sign second from itself basically let's go to fifth lord in seventh house on padma bala ji you can read fifth lord seventh house spouse partner boss client customer etc kind and helpful children get all comforts and luxuries spouse cordially disposed gains from spouse and children yeah anyone has fifth or in seventh 
Yeah, I have Vishal this way. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lagna is a Taurus, and uh, fifth lord is Mercury, which is in the seventh house. Mm -hmm. So it's in Scor Scorpio, right? Yes, it's in Scorpio. Do you agree to these points? Children, sir, yeah, I do. Hmm. Gains from children, they are, they are student right now, so I can't hmm. tell that no. <laughs> what gains I can get from them. <laughs> yeah. But that's everything matches. Yeah, gains doesn't need to be monetary. It can be non-monetary sense also. Yeah. Like what? Hmm. Okay. Anyone having anyone else has fifth lord in seventh house? Okay. Then let's go to fifth lord in eighth house. Then let me assign to Suma Subramaniam. Fifth Lord in eighth house. Eighth house represents longevity, core vitality, transformation, house mysteries, foreign settlement, constant seeker of quality, social circle, aristocracy, go abroad and attain fame and wealth. Children's home would be overseas. They think foreign education, profession or settlement. Mm. Anyone has fifth lord in eighth house? No one has. Okay, then let's move to fifth lord in ninth house. This is fifth from fifth, hence it is Bhavad Bhavam. And that's the, it's extremely good. So it says one of the children will be prodigy. Okay. Um, Ms. Sarasija, you can read this. A, a fifth house uh, represents fortune, philosophy, higher education, religion, ethics, culture, traditions, father, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, ninth house, a, ninth house, uh, sorry, a new star born in the family, visionary and great thinker, abilities of a writer, enjoy the company of small kids and inspiration to them, long journey travel is a boon to them, uh, blessed with fortunate children. One of the children will be a prodigy. Hmm. Anyone having this? Fifth Lord in ninth house. My daughter has. Okay. Uh, she is a student right now. Uh, uh, she is a Libra ascendant. Okay. <coughs> Fifth Lord is Saturn, which is in the ninth house. Okay. Definitely. You have one child. I have two checks. Okay. <clears throat> I think it's too young for yeah. uh, checking these. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Any other uh, example anyone has fifth lord in ninth house? Okay. Let's go to 10th house. Uh, Kavita ji, you can read. Yeah. Uh, 10th house career, image, professional life, what world sees you as. Powerful individual, a class of their own, uh, their own, brand maker and a legend, command high degree of respect in society. They convert the thoughts into action, very pragmatic. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I have a fifth lord in the uh, tenth house. Uh, I mean, tenth house, yes. Fifth lord is 
Mars and my Mars is so your, your cancer, right? Cancer ascendant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Mars isn't? Mars is in fifth house and uh, I mean Mars is in tenth house. Tenth house. And the fifth house Lord is Mars. Yeah. yeah. So are these making sense to the match? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Powerful individual. <laughs> I don't know all that. Uh, mm. Yeah, thought into action. Yes. Mm. Very pragmatic. Means, means very yeah, practical. Right. Yeah. The other things, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, time will tell that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone mm. else having fifth Lord in tenth house? Okay, then okay. let's go to fifth Lord in 11th house. Um, Mr. Vishal, you can read this. Yeah. Uh, 11th house represents fulfillment of desires, profits, gain, and cash flow, wealth, good writing ability, charismatic, and attract, attract crowd by their camaraderie. Well known academic circles build a secure and luxurious future for their children, high intellect, and storehouse of knowledge. Yeah. So, anyone having fifth lord in 11th house? I'm having a link. Sun is in the um, sun is in the 11th house. You are Leo. I mean, this is. No, okay. fifth lord is Leo. Okay. What's the yeah. ascendant? Uh, uh, fifth lord is sun. I mean, yeah. Uh, fifth lord is sun. Sun is in the 11th house. Okay. Yeah. So Aries ascendant. Uh, Aries ascendant. Mm. Okay. So sun is in Pisces. Uh, sun is in uh, uh, Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius. Yeah. yeah. Aquarius. Are these matching? I don't know. I mean, I really don't know it. Um, it's hard to say about oneself that way. Right? Yeah, yeah. But what about writing? Do you like writing? Or... Yeah, I like writing. Whether I'm good at it, I don't know. I like writing. Okay. Are you in the academic side? I mean, education background? Or is uh, your... Yes, I get SM in the education. Mm. So that's also, third is also sort of matching. Any other example? Fifth Lord in Today you shared some birth chart, right? When Kajay, the second one matches, right? Fifth Lord in Lord. Tony Banks. Let me check. Uh, Tony Banks. So Fifth Lord Mercury is. Where is he? 11th house, correct. Yeah. Yes. But I don't know these people except that they're musicians. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fine. So let's finish this. So we are able to do one lot fully. Fifth lot in 12th house. Um, Ms. Parvati, you can read this. Yes. Uh, fifth lot in 12th house. 12th house, liberation, detachment, expenditures, di displacement. Simplicity is their attribute, no pomp and show, blessed with luxury and spending ability, commitment to profession, spiritual bent of mind, sacrificial nature, detached and dedicated. Yeah, anyone has fifth lord in 12th house? Simplicity, commitment to profession, spiritual bent, sacrificial, detached, and dedicated. My father, he's, he's uh, 
Jupiter in twelfth house. This matches fully. Fully, okay. Yeah. Good. So then, this fifth lord is done. Let's go back to the PowerPoint. Okay. <laughs> the mr ajesh chart so we can discuss that this is the one he is absent today in the class but we can uh, try to check some other points so so far as have any of you seen uh, through the entire thing and do you have any specific questions here first we'll take that up something that you know is you don't agree or something appears strange in this one uh venkat if rahu is in the eighth house a very long life uh, is it correct also saturn in the third house longe longevity is it correct yeah. yeah possible yes longevity correct <clears throat> foreign settlement is also possible yes then what is the second thing you said uh, the second is saturn uh, it says that when saturn is in the uh, third house it says again hmm. longe longevity okay i think but usually eighth is what is seen uh -huh. and uh, let's see what is three yeah doesn't saturn doesn't aspect also here okay <clears throat> okay <clears throat> um can we check that sense of humor here based on what we discussed today here somebody wrote maybe classy gentle witty not offensive so let's see fifth house Parts in the fifth house here is empty, and that is sun. And in our case, we saw sun means hardly smile. Hardly smile means not inclined towards humor much. But I don't know if uh, Mr. Ajay doesn't seem to be so. Uh, mm -hmm. We have to check. Yeah. <laughs> here, this is where it was written, right? Long lives in Saturn in third house. A lot of third house Mercury is, is in second house between us. I'm not sure how Mercury and all is connected here to longevity. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's see what some of the things that we have learned. Okay, let's re. Uh, there will be also a recap for what we did in Astro Ninja, right? So let's see fifth house here. Fifth house. Okay, now Sun. fifth lot. If the Lord is in Lagna, yeah, is it good? Is considered strong house, a strong planet, sun in one. Yeah, sun as as such as is in Aries. Exalted. It's an exalted thing. Yeah. What about strength of the fifth house here? Since sun is exalted, uh, the fifth house should be strong. Mm -hmm. And uh, starting from this Leo, what is position of Sun? Ninth, ninth house. Mm. And that is again good, right, Lakshmi house. Yeah. Mm. 
Okay. <clears throat> now, can you let me just give something else? Let's say, uh, take a seventh house. Is is the seventh house? Is it strong? No planet there. No planet there. Now, what about the Lord of the house? Where is it? Lord of the house is uh, Venus. Lord of the house is Venus. Where is Venus positioned? Second house. So Venus it's good. Along with uh, Ketu, which is there. Yeah. And what about its position from itself, from this, from Libra? Sixth. Uh, so Eighth house. Eighth house. Eighth house. Bustana house. Bustada house. Yes. And that, that actually can impact, uh, you know, we can say, can weaken the seventh house because it's in the eighth house, Tustana house. Okay. Okay. But generally, we have to also consider this. If it was alone, then yes. But then this is Venus. Venus is benefic. Okay. But still, being in Tustana may not work so well. And um, the lord of this is this, then. Um, Then the other thing is, let's see, uh, there is nothing here, Uranus we don't see, but if let's see if you have a planet, let's say a house with a planet, let's consider this one, okay. Now this is which how, which number house, where moon is? 10th house. 10th house, okay, let's say. Now is the 10th house strong for this native? 10th house is with Saturn, so it is not uh, enemy's house. Moon's enemy is there. Oh, moon's enemy, sir. Yes. So, moon for moon, this is not going to. This is not going to be good. Yes, enemy in an enemy house. Now, what is the lord of? This is Saturn. Saturn is in which position, or how is it placed? Sad. So, from it, from this, it is sixth house. That's another dustana. Yeah. And from the ascendant, it is third house. Third is also Dustana, but Upachaya also. Yeah. Yeah. And correct. Now, moon. Um, the sun is aspecting the seventh house, right? So, is it good or bad? Sun, yeah, it will not be good. Yeah. Okay. It's a debilitated position for sun. Yeah. But uh, but uh, but uh, it is exalt exalt. But sun is in exalted position, right? Yeah. That is good for that house, Aries. Ah. Okay. But for this house, it's not good. It's like ah. you know, assume sun is here. Then that's the same thing. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Usually, all exaltations opposite will have a weakening effect. Mm. Okay, now what about uh, take third house now? Third house is it strong? Lord of the house is Mercury. Mercury, yeah. Mercury is in the second house, so it's yeah. good. It's good. Mercury is in second house, good. Saturn is in Mercury's house. Are they friends or Mercury is neutral? Mercury so, is neutral, yeah. Now, this house having Saturn as a malefic, does it indicate good things? Does it make it strong? <clears throat> Actually, may, maybe the, the success is delayed. Yeah. That's right. It will be delayed but not denied. Yeah. <clears throat> so, that's the way we are to see. Um, now let's say 11th house. Is it strong? 11th house, Mars is there. It is in Saturn's house. So. Hmm. Enemy's house. Enemy's house. Correct. Lord of uh, house is Saturn. Saturn is in Upachaya. <coughs> Not so great as not as great as one four seven ten five nine, right? Then okay. 
let's discuss planets. So let's say um, Jupiter is a known house. That's very strong. Now let's see uh, Mercury. Mercury is it strong here? Mercury is strong. Mercury is having is. a case. Yeah. But it is in the second house. Yeah. So. Second house means Mercury is, is good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll just discuss further like this next class. Mm. We'll go back. It's already eight o'clock. I hope it was useful, right? So far. Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank when you, you ask question, you. then it becomes easy. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> otherwise everything is like one. <laughs> Yeah. No, I mean, this should come in the practice to, you know, check. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, in due course, it will come. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like this, we, our mind should be get used to. Yeah. Okay. Now, put the meeting back. Oh, this I still not stop sharing. Be kind and amazing. Okay, now. Yeah, now I've launched this. Or check on meeting. Eight out of nine received. Okay, all done. Nine out of nine. I'm ending this. Ending the results. Mute everyone. Okay, now meeting pace is fine. Say 100%. I learned something today. 100%. Practical activity is engaging. 100%. All were easy, says one person. Partially hard, rest easy, say eight out of nine. Audio quality is very good, say all of 100%. Okay, very good. So now let's do a bit of self-reflection. What did we learn today? We learned the fifth lord in uh, various houses. Correct. Effect of fifth lord in various houses. Then. Astro India, Astro India. Yes. And then what else? We we learned about the strength of the house. Yes, we discussed that. Then sense of humor. Sense of humor. So in um, Mr. Ajay's chart, fifth lord was sun. Sun was in first house. Anyone remembers fifth lord in first house? What was the thing? Hardly smile. No, that is sense of humor. But fifth lord in first house, what were the bullet oh. points? Any points do you remember? Like Vision. a visionary, lucky investments. Yeah, happiness with children, lucky with children. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, mm -hmm. very good. Uh, but he's unmarried, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell one thing you wonder. We have to see so many things. I mean, there were so many... Yeah. Mm. I mean, it is not. Uh, there are so many factors influencing. Correct. Yeah. That's how. Okay, uh, just, just question on this one. Mm -hmm. So all this astrology software follow all these rules that you are descri describing here. Is it programmed in the software or how is it? Predictions. But, yeah. It usually it's not possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because. Uh, there are way too many things, but there are, I mean, programs which are 
I was just wondering how they code this uh, logic uh, in their, uh, you know, <laughs> sites. Yeah. To some extent, I would say yes, it's possible, but there are those finer points, you know, comparing strengths and all that. That's only a person can do, not machine cannot do that. Yeah. So it's uh, almost approximate, right? Whatever we see on the website yeah, is approximate. Uh, if, but if there is anything like computer generated, you cannot go by fully by it. Yeah. But oh, okay. that was my main point. Main things yeah. might be fine. Yeah. It's mainly generalized only. Hmm? It's generalized only. Okay. Yeah, it will be a generalized only. Okay. okay. May not be as good as human assessing it. Oh, I see. <clears throat> That's a new thing I learned today. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because they are taking money and giving us 100% uh, accuracy and other claims are there, you know, for the... <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 We can't say, yeah. Because that... Even if you, as a human also, if you are 100% accurate, you know, it, it cannot really be, may not be the experience the person has. There are a lot of things involved. So mm -hmm. many of the things are not in our control. We have seen karma theory. And then we so have we seen... not believe that equally, right? Whatever equally we get from the these people, yeah. not be believed. Yeah. Huh? It's very hardly accurate. Huh? Which, which one? Which only? Uh, the e equally, you know, from various websites, the equally yeah, is yeah. being done. So... <laughs> It is approximate as per your analysis. Yeah, yeah, all that will be uh, approximate, generalized. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Now, uh, your present or feeling in one word. God is great. <laughs> And people are also great. <laughs> <laughs> Learning is joy. Learning is joy. Excellent. One more response. Long way to learn. Yeah. Good. Any questions if you have, we can take now. Otherwise, we are yeah, done. Yeah, uh, Venkatji, I have a question. Uh, um, the fifth Lord in the ninth house, when you are when you are talking about that, you said fifth from fifth house. That part, I didn't get it. Yeah. If you can answer now or else you can take it up in the next from class. From fifth, yeah. So if you see fifth, fifth from fifth will be ninth. What about it? From the fifth house, oh, I have to count one, two, three like that. Yes, yes. So ah, okay. Not counting from the fifth. Oh, okay. Okay, like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah, so ninth house will power the fifth. Vaud Bhavam is very good in general. Yeah. Okay. I have a question. This is regarding the free will. See, mm -hmm. in all these um, ancient epics and those stories, already it is predetermined, right? Like uh, uh, Lord will be born as Ram or Krishna and he will... Uh, kill comes out like that it is already if there is a free will how can they say that this will happen no the lord birth and all is a special case it's not you cannot apply that for humans but th those are there will be exception there are special cases but our like humans like normal people Gita itself says that right so we cannot it's not fully predetermined and neither it is fully you know under our control it's a combination of both yeah. Okay. Like some people are, well, like if you take the case of Lord and they, they have a specific purpose and uh, it has to do with, I mean, you know, their Atma Bodha and all that. So they have some things, uh, they are meant for, you know, uh, their birth is meant for this. So that's, that's the way that works. Yeah. But that deserves a separate discussion and I, I'm not the, knowledgeable person for to answer that yeah yeah any other I heard, yeah i heard this um dr bala has uh, shared on youtube video of uh, that fertility issues there he has discussed about fiery dis uh, fiery signs they have they are less fertile etc is it the, the lagna or the vena 
Venus uh, position of Venus. Venus. Venus in fairy signs. Venus yeah. in fairy signs. So oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, Venus and Ferry. I only made those short. I took the clippings of his recordings. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Then let's conclude here today. Thank you very much for joining. Let's meet next week. Thank you, Venkatji. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Venkatji. Thank you. Thank you, Venkat. Thank you.